Hello, my name is Mary Daniels, aka The Life Chef, and I'm going to share some tasty tips, key ingredients, and secret recipes to dealing and managing with any relationship issues. Today I'm going to talk about how to get over an affair. Now an affair can be a really painful thing, especially if you didn't see it coming, or you felt the relationship was really on track, and you were really in love with the person. But that doesn't mean that it's the end of a relationship just because your partner has had an affair or you've had an affair. I think the key thing first of all is to look at what happened for you to get here in the first place. There's always a reason behind everything. Um, so if you're in that in space and environment where it's possible, first of all try and sit down with your partner and actually talk to them about why the affair occurred. It might be that there's some fundamental things that have been missing in the relationship. It might be that there have been big warning signs that have been missed along the way. I'm not saying that excuses the affair, but sometimes if you can get your head around why it happened, we can start to reduce the blame and look at the solution. So try and find some space to sit down and have that conversation. Try and have it somewhere neutral, where it doesn't evoke or bring in any other emotions or memories that can actually add fire to the conversation. So you really want to try and keep it civilised. Take on board that the person who has been cheated on and the person who has had the affair will have different emotions. So you could be in different spaces emotionally and you really need to try and find a way to meet in the middle. If you need help to get somebody to come and mediate or sit with you, then please do that. Because again, there'll be lots of memories coming up and I think it's really, really important you focus on the main issues rather than get, getting caught up in the little things. Another way to help get over an affair is to actually look at how we're going to move this forward in a more pleasurable way. So maybe start from fresh, start dating again, taking on board all the old issues and what you've learned and habits that maybe need to be addressed, but actually have a clean slate and, and start dating, start doing things that allow you to connect in a different way. It might be that you need to spend some time apart before you come back together. You know, it's not always easy to get over an affair and assume you can carry on as things were before. So it might be that in order to rebuild things, you do need to spend some time apart. But I think if you have a clear plan and you set an intention and you're both on the same page to make it happen, then there's no reason why you can't get over an affair. It might be that even after doing all of these things, sadly, that you realise that you two just aren't compatible. And it might be that you then need to go off and rebuild your life separately. So I think if you take everything on board and really put your energy into making it work, but if it's not working, it might be that the only way you can get over the affair is to actually look to, to go into a relationship with somebody who's more suited to you. So try everything else first, and if not, then maybe sit down and think, you know, is this relationship really going to work? And maybe it's time to call it a day. But either way, there's no reason why you can't have a happy outcome, even after an affair.